So the first time I heard about Laney was um, Coach B, and I heard that he'd watched my film and he was interested in, in me as a player. So I'd watched Last Chance Year before, obviously seeing Laney Eagles and hearing that they were interested in me. Obviously I went back to watch it to see what the situation was and how the coaches were and having calls with them myself, it was, it's really good. So my first reaction from hearing about Laney being interested in me, it was just all my hard work had paid off, seeing that a coach over there was interested and wanted me over there, he honestly sent me over the moon. So I first started playing American football when my mum saw a brochure on the internet and I was playing rugby at the time and I wanted to play another contact sport. So I think that was about 2015, 2016, winter 2016. So the reason for me picking up American footballers is I've always been a big boy. Um, and it was a great way to use my size and power to do whatever, <laughs> do whatever I want to other people. So my first team was Chorley Buccaneers. I got introduced um, by my first coach, Ian Nicholson, and uh, it's like, oh, your size is great, you're young as well. So that was the first time in 2015, 16. When I first went, they, they treated me like family instantly. Um, they saw me as like a big friend, <laughs> big, big lad rocking up, paid me respects and uh, taught me the game and how to play it and learning each position and how the rules actually work. It was great, a big family, always is with American football. And Samani put in that big hit as well. Yeah, absolutely thunderous hit. So now I'm heading over to Parklands where I first started playing for the Charlie Buccaneers and meet my coach Ian Nicholson who gave me off for the squad. Tower started in 2016. Memory coming down and straight away we got to see his size like, this is a big player for us, you know, this is this is good for us. Uh, Tyler was a really development player in his first year, um, which you expect from a rookie, and he got better and better as he went on. Um, and then 2017, again, he developed once again and actually got um, the most improved player of the year for, for that under-17s team. And he just grew into his own and just became an absolute beast at the sport and for our team as well. As a player, like when he got the ball and once he became like the player he is now, it was like, Tyler got the ball. You know, how many people are going to take to actually try and stop Tyler? Or if he was playing as a no tackle, it was, you feel sorry for the centre that's going against him, really, to the QB that's going against him. So what's been your best memory about me then, over all these years? Getting rid of you. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. No, you, you just, you were great to coach, you know. At, at times you had your moments, like a lot of players, you had your moments, it's like, Tyler, you've got to focus now, you've got to do this or yeah. do this. And if something weren't going right, you'd get frustrated and that. But just seeing you develop, you know. Everything we do at the books and everything I do is about developing players, you know, and developing people and to see you develop and, and that. And even, you know, when you did move across to like, Manchester Titans, you rang me and the way yeah. that we, we spoke about that, I got so much respect for that. I told you on the phone. Yeah. You know, everything you've done, your drive and that, to see where you've gone from, I think it's just fantastic. You know, you've you really fought a lot through the last few years and I think you've done amazing just to get to where you got to. So once leaving Chorley, I went to the Manchester Titans because um, there was more coaches and more players and competition. I felt like my limit was reached at Chorley. Uh, being a very local and community-driven place, uh, Manchester had bigger and better facilities, more coaches, and they had more time for individual players. So I went to Manchester just to try and better myself. So I first heard about the academy from Tom Jones, my ex-housemate. Uh, he told me about it. I didn't really know a lot about it. He, he saw an advertisement and he applied for it. And he said, you might as well just give it a go. So I attended them. Look where it got me. <laughs> so my experience with the trials was insane. Obviously getting an invitation to the newly built Tottenham Hotspur Stadium was, was great in itself. So when I rang up my mum, it was the first person I had to tell. Um, it was great. She was over the moon. Told family and friends, they were ecstatic as well. And it, it was such a great experience of FIBA knowing that I'd been accepted. The NFL Academy experience was overwhelming, just meeting all the coaches, being so homely and being a family of eight years as well, going around college, just, just getting to know people as well and obviously getting the gym and grinding and being a, being a student athlete, being a big guy, it was great but it was, I was getting to meet people my size as well and the, the skill level came up and I really had to start proving myself, putting in that work, getting in the gym, getting stronger, being the best guy on the pitch and being that mental mentally strong character that I had to be. So playing at the academy for a year really improved me. Um, obviously knowing the position more with my coach Gavin Collins, learning the, 
the rules as well and the footwork and actually becoming a stronger player mentally and physically. Coach Gavin was pretty much like a dad to me. He uh, let me sit in his room watching film all the time going over what I did right and wrong. He was that role model that I needed to really strive and be the best I could have been at the academy. Oh, he'll like that. He'll like that. <laughs> yeah, he'll send me a message. He's like, oh, thanks, son. <laughs> You're proud as a coach that your players have learned enough and developed as, as men and as players that they're able to take the next, not just given the opportunity, but they are able to take and function at the next steps. And no, I'm proud, and I'm proud of him for putting himself out there like that as well, yeah. We kept in touch. I mean, obviously, he still talks to a lot of the guys here because they all came in together. So it's, you know, how are they? Some of our players are looking to go to Laney as well, so that's been a thing. But no, it, it, like during lockdown, it's seen how he's doing, how his training's going. And then <laughs> he was messaging me last, last night about his haircut. So <laughs> he's so proud of his, like, going, finally going to the barbers and getting himself ready. So yeah, so I mean, you're staying. And it's, it, it's nice because it's not always just about football. It's, you know, it's like you say, especially during these COVID times, it's like, hey, how are you doing? It's going to be five days a week of you know, practice, five days a week in the gym, five days a week. So it's going to be, you know, a bigger magnitude when he goes out there. So it's to stay focused, but also enjoy your time out there. You know, you're going to, like I said, I mean, I went to junior college. I'm still in contact with half the kids that I played O-line with, you know, and I will for the rest of my life. And it's such a unique opportunity. You want to make the most of it, but enjoy the area. You know, enjoy the entire experience as a whole. But again, the first and foremost, don't forget your education. That's first. Make sure you show up every day to practice. So during lockdown, a big, big thing happened for me. Um, my dad did pass away during lockdown. So that really set me back for a long time. It really made me start want to play football and just kind of slob and really put me in a bad mental state. So my dad was one of my biggest fans, if not my biggest fan, he, he loved me competing and seeing that I was doing well and striving and he could show me off saying that's, that's my big boy um, and he, he loved me going away and doing what I had to do and progressing in the sport that I loved. So with my dad passing away it really, it really brought me down, I was prepared to give it all up, I, I didn't want to play football, I just wanted to just slob and do nothing, I was going to get a job and give up everything all my progress that I'd done, playing and doing well. But, um, I kind of one day got up and thought, what's the point? He'd want me to carry on and strive and it really gave me the perspective on life and really pushed me to carry on doing it and become even better. So graduating from the academy, um, after that I went to Filton, um, Bristol Pride Academy. Um, so I rocked up there in September and started training and I've been there ever since. It's been great. I've been dropped into another family, all people caring, coaches caring, um, staff caring. Um, it's, it's been great. It's been a good experience as well over the past eight months. The first time I heard about Laney being interested was from a coach at Bristol Pride. He'd been in talks with Coach Beam himself and showed him my film and that's that's how we got the interest. So speaking to them over teams was, was great. Actually getting to meet him and see what they're like, it, it, honestly, it was, it was a big eye opener. He's, he's just the person that he is on the programme, happy, um, wants the best from you, and he's not gonna try and push you to, to go there. Juco is a place where you go and you, you try your hardest and try and get offers, because it's a place that coaches know, coaches from Division One and Division Two programmes, and it's the place to try and better yourself and give you that extra chance and opportunity to get a Division 1 offer. So my ambitions going to Laney is to come out with a Division 1 offer and um, become a better person in the meantime and hopefully in the long run be able to stay and live there full time, that's, that's one of my big goals. Being one of the few Brits going over to America is great, um, trying to cave in that pathway for more British people to come over and show that we've actually got skill and size over here. It's, it's a great feeling to know that I could possibly be leading the way forward for future Brits. With regards to pressure, I'm, I'm, I'm all right with it. I feel, I, I feel like uh, I can do what I can do and try and get the best out of it. As long as I've done my best, that's, that's all I can do, to be honest. Who would have thought, after all this time, you'd taken to training at Chorley to where you are now? It's incredible. What a fantastic journey you've been on. I know, well, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here in the first place, like. I bet, you know, I really enjoy watching you play, even though I don't understand it. After, after all this after, time. After five years, you still don't get it, do you? No, I don't. But, you know, it's been an experience with us, tell stories and 
It's been great. Family. Fantastic people. journey. I've enjoyed it. I hope you have. I certainly have. <laughs> and it's just the beginning.